Hello friends, welcome back to our video lecture series on course title Fluid Mechanics 2. Uh, this is our 19th lecture and we will continue with our previous topic, um, unsteady flow. As we have discussed in the previous lecture, uh, flow is said to be unsteady flow when uh, flow characteristics like say velocity, uh, discharge, uh, density, pressure, depth of flow are going to change with respect to time at particular location. Then it is said to be an unsteady flow. Again, uh, we have discussed types of unsteady flow, periodic, non-periodic and random unsteady flow. So to analyze unsteady flow, uh, we uh, uh, need to derive a time equation for that. And once we derive the time equation, we can analyze it. So in this uh, lecture, we are going to derive the time equation. So we are going to consider a condition flow through openings under varying head. So we are going to consider this condition uh, where the flow is going to take place through the small opening. So uh, and uh, uh, we are going to consider the variable head, so head is not going to change. If head is not going to change, head is going to vary. Obviously, flow will said to be unsteady flow because flow characteristics are going to change. Uh, again, we have this uh, considered two uh, different cases. So, in case number one, uh, we are considering uh, this tank is having uh, uniform area of cross section. That means that uh, whatever the area of cross section of tank does not going to change with respect to the uh, head. So if you see here, our head is going to change with respect to time as I am allowing to flow the discharge through this small opening through this tank and whenever discharge or water uh, taking away from this particular small opening that is also known as orifice which is provided at the bottom of this tank and as discharge uh, passing out from this tank this head or water level in the tank will goes on decreasing. As it is decreases, obviously if my area is also decreases condition would be the different but in this case we are considering constant uh, or uniform area of cross section uh, over this height and in next case case number two we are going to consider this uh, area is also variable which is also going to change that may be uh, that area would be like this uh, hemispherical tank where the area will goes on decreasing towards the uh, uh, decreasing head so let us consider tank having uniform area of cross section uh, having uh, area of cross section A, uh, small a, area of orifice or area of small opening which is provided at the bottom of tank. H1 is the initial height of the liquid in the tank and H2 is the final height. So after allowing the discharge up to the particular interview, uh, so over the time t, how much uh, water is going to out and uh, what is the level of water after that time t is H2 and time t is the time in second required to bring water level from H1 to H2. Now we know that we cannot analyze uh, such problems directly so we are generally considering small area small strips and we are analyzing uh, those conditions so here again similarly consider a small uh, uh, strip uh, where the small uh, uh, depth of water going out from the tank let us consider h is the instant height of the tank uh, instant height of the liquid in the tank and uh, dh is the um, uh, height of liquid which is taking out from the tank over the time dt so if i am allowing flow of water over the time dt uh, so uh, depth of water dh uh, will be taken out from the tank now if i want to calculate volume how much volume has been taken out from the tank uh, in time dt so i can uh, calculate that volume that will be a area of cross section of tank that is area multiplied by this depth it will give me the volume so dq is equal to that is volume of liquid that has been passed through the tank or taken out from the tank is minus a dh where negative sign indicates that this dh goes on decreasing as this volume goes on increasing so uh, this is our volume now theoretical velocity as we all know theoretical velocity is given by the equation v is equal to under root of twice of gh now again uh, on the basis of volume of water which is taken out from the tank can also be computed by using uh, discharge equation so discharge is given by uh, area multiplied by velocity so if i am considering theoretical velocity so area multiplied by velocity gives me the uh, theoretical discharge so if i uh, multiply it with coefficient of discharge i will get actual discharge so coefficient of discharge multiplied by area multiplied by theoretical velocity it will give me the discharge and if i multiply it with time then i will get the volume so discharge multiplied by time dt i will get the volume and those both volume will be equal so this is the discharge over uh, by which uh, by which rate water has been taken out from the tank that is cd multiplied by a multiplied by under root of twice of gh and multiplied by time so those two volumes which were previously derived minus adh 
and this value should be equal so just equating those two equation minus a dh is equal to cd multiplied by a multiplied by under root of twice of gh multiplied by dt now we want to compute time that is time equation as we required so let us uh, take this dt on one side and derive the expression for this dt that will be given by minus a dh divided by uh, cd a under root of twice of gh now i can simplify this equation as uh, by taking this h at the nominator uh, that is uh, the uh, power of h is 1 by 2 and if i am taking it as denominator it will be written as inverse so minus a h raised to minus 1 by 2 dh divided by cd multiplied by multiplied by under root of twice of g now this is the equation for the dt dt is the small time step we have considered it and dh is the uh, height of liquid which is decreasing in the tank over the time dt so if i want to compute uh, total time required to uh, decrease uh, height of water in the tank from h1 to h2 i need to integrate this equation in between limit h1 to h2 so my lower limit will be h1 from where uh, drop of liquid level is zero and from where it will start and i need to reach up to the h2 so just take the integration on the left hand side and right hand side and uh, integration of dt is equal to minus this was the minus sign carried uh, as it is uh, integration from h1 to h2 a multiplied by h raised to minus 1 by 2 divided by cd a multiplied by under root of twice of g multiplied by dh now by taking uh, integration of this equation i will get the expression for the t so on the left hand side uh, i can write down the expression for the t as t uh, is equal to minus uh, integration from h1 to h2 multiplied by Uh, integ minus integration h1 to h2 a uh, multiplied by h raised to minus 1 by 2 divided by cda uh, under root of twice of g multiplied by dh now by taking its integration so for taking integration let's take constant term outside from the integration so a area of tank obviously uniform and constant cd coefficient of discharge also constant opening area of opening also constant under root of twice of g constant so take those all terms outside from the integration and take the integration of h raised to minus 1 by 2 now while taking integration we are just adding power by 1 so minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 1 minus half that is half positive so here it is h raised to 1 by 2 and never forget to divide it with new power that is new power is 1 by 2 divide it with 1 by 2 and now uh, just this uh, limit from uh, h1 to h2 now by putting uh, upper limit minus lower limit and taking this uh, denominator denominator 2 as nominator here it is minus 2a under root of uh, divided by cd multiplied by a multiplied by twice of g upper limit is h2 and lower limit is h1 so here uh, power is 1 by 2 so i can write down it as under root of upper limit h2 minus under root of h1 now if i take the minus sign common here this minus minus would become plus so for the equation of t i can write here t is equal to twice of a uh, divided by cd a under root of twice of g multiplied by under root of h1 minus h2 so if i am considering the case where tank is going to empty fully so in that case uh, height of water available at the end of time step would be the zero because type uh, tank is emptied totally in that case equation for the t can be written as t is equal to twice of a divided by cd a under root of twice of g multiplied by under root of h1 where cd is the coefficient of discharge a is the uh, area of small opening that is area of orifice uh, this a is the area of tank and h1 is the initial uh, height of water in the tank so remember those two equation because those two uh, we are going to use make do make use of those two equation while solving the numerical hope you understood this in the next lecture we will discuss uh, another case where the area is also going to change over the distance over the head those are the references which i have used for this presentation thank you for watching